Usually with anime series or video games that are successful, or to promote them, it's common to make conversions to the other media, only a few times well made. This only one episode anime is an adaptation of an action and fighting game that explains and tells the story between the two games of this series, in which the protagonist Hikari and Mai Tsurugino work with the agent Doro from the demon world to protect our world from the troubles the demons make. To be able to make this task, they transform into Makendo, using the ones Doro gives them, getting special powers to attack the demons. And they end up crossing paths with Aizan Kamioji, who was turned into the cyborg Makenka, against his will, like Dr. Matt, which all of them fight because he is the most wanted criminal in the demon world, and the only one who can turn back Aizan to normal. This animated short has the peculiarity of mixing the magical girls with Kendo, when having the girls that fighting style in their battles. When some series that have some success are thanks to creative freedom, this could have variations from its original concept, making possible derivative series giving them a very different turn. This is the case with Pretty Sami, a series based on the characters from Tenchi Muyo, centered in Sasami as the magical girl, Tsunami as her guardian, and Ryoki as her companion animal, initially only conceived in parodical tone. The original concept of this series was first developed in some drama CDs, which are like audiobooks, then it was shown an animated sequence at the ending of the Mihoshi special OVA, getting finally the OVA series, which later would originate two TV series retelling and expanding the original story. The story is about Sasami living her normal life as an elementary school student, who is chosen by Tsunami to become a magical girl, which is the one to prove, when making happy the people in our world, that Tsunami is worth to become the ruler of the magical world. But because Tsunami was chosen over Ramya, this one starts to make it hard for pretty Sami when turning Sasami's friend, Isao, into the magical girl, Pixie Misa, will become her enemy, making creators that Sasami has to fight. This series, when being a variation as a parody, it doesn't develop a very complex story and uses on the story the established relationships between the characters from the series it comes from, giving some relevance to the love relationship between Sasami and her brother Tenchi which disappears on the TV series, when changing the roles of many characters. Galaxy Frola and Yuna is one of those uncommon cases in which an animated series comes from ideas or concepts that become popular. In this case, from the illustration of Gundam Tem Custom Girls, created by Mika Akitaka. From the popularity of this illustration, it's created a video game series, among with two OVA series, that tells the story of the protagonist, Yuna Kagurasaka, who is perceived as the legendary Dike Savior, which as other Frolans, she protects the galaxy from the destruction in the hands of the forces of darkness and chaos. Yuna is always accompanied and helped by her best friend Yuri, 
who is an insatiable glutton, which when Yuna needs it, she can do superhuman feats. As we get to know in the story, the Frolan are girls that have robotic fairy companions, which can summon a robot or mecha to fight. Despite this series looks sci-fi team, when looking in action the Frolan, it becomes apparent the magical girls team, showing the heroines with flashy and cute suits. Their attacks are mostly made like magical spells, and having an enemy which is a dark being, which power and origin seems supernatural. We can note that this series is a mix of space action and comedy, having very often silly situations, like the one that makes Yuna being a huge fan of the heroine, Polilina, Yuri with her everlasting hunger, and many other reactions that the characters have because their comical personalities. The concept of Kaito, or mysterious thief, it describes the kind of attractive and alluring thief that likes to mock the police, announcing his thefts, and it's a character that has been liked by Japanese since the beginning of anime. Sentel is this kind of thief, so she becomes a famous and popular person in the story, being her real identity, Mimi Haneoka, an urban high school girl. Sentel makes her thefts to make justice, getting her objectives from her friend Sera Mimori, who as a non in training in the church of the school, she receives the prayer and health wishes from the people. And Sera is the only one that knows Saint El's real identity, which is the intermediary, so each step is committed to God as a justice doing. The magical girl side in Saint El can be seen when she disguises a her identity of pretty thief and when using magic tricks and phrases that Mamie learned from her father, with which she tricks the police in each theft, adding also an animal companion as Ruby the Hedgehog. And it's also barely mentioned that Mamie's mother's past is also a strong influence for her to become same tell. As usual with these thief stories, Sentel, besides being chased by the police, she has her own enemy, who ends up being her classmate Taiki Asuka, which everyone calls Asuka Jr., making reference to the fact that he's the son of the well-known detective, Asuka. And it begins this enemy relationship between him and Sentel, when he entrusts her capture by the Major, becoming a friendly rivalry relationship that sometimes turn into love. This is how this series has an adventure team, being the center of the plot, the love relationship between Mamie and Nazca Jr. As anime series have evolved, they have become more complex, mixing diverse ideas and concepts that commonly we watch in another context, and when together, they can improve the series. Mahosukai Tai makes this, telling a story where the shonen, comedy, and magical girl genres are combined in an OVA series and a TV series. The story begins with a mysterious alien cylinder that they call the bell, that comes to invade the air, being the armed forces of the air unable to do anything at all. Then time passes, staying the bell in the middle of the sea, near Japan, while it sends big black spheres to survey human activities, having to get used to it. But the only one willing to face it, in a bluffing sport, 
is the president of the Magic Club in Kitanohashi High School, that with the other four members, he plans to use their powers to defeat it. The club's five members are the impopular Takeo, the popular Abuda Tsubo, the insecure and clumsy Sai, the practical Nanaka, and the clueless and selfish Akane. So, we follow this magic club and its member adventures that along with their daily life activities, the story follows three main plots. First, the friend and love relationships between some of them, like Sai with Takeo, Nanaka with Aburatsubo, and Aburatsubo with Takeo. Second, the magic that they slowly will be improving and mastering to face the situation related with the bell which becomes curious about their power. And third, the comical situation that happens with Takeo being a pervert, Aburatsubo being amorous with Takeo, and the president of the manga club that bullies Takeo. This series mixes the magical gear aspect when having in the club three girls that many times show how they have potential for magic. Mainly Sai, which many times she lacks confidence and skill. Besides, they wear colorful clothes as their club uniform and their magic powers are something uncommon that they hide to the others, believing that they only make tricks for fun. It's important to mention that most of this series is Yunichi Gato's work, director to many remarkable series like Sailor Moon and Kaleido Star, which is clear in this series being a good combination of a well-written story fun characters and a well done animation. In most cases, the Magical Girl series have had a playful, cheerful, or funny style. Besides being colorful, but Shamanic Princess is one of the first in Make a Difference, creating a short series with a dark and tragic tone in most of the story. This is the story of Tiara, some kind of witch that along her animal companion, Japolo, they are sent to retrieve the Throne of Yor, which is an item with great magic power that was stolen by Kagetsu, who had the duty of protecting and guarding it. When Tiara finds it, she ends up meeting Lena and her companion Leon, whom they were given the same mission by the elders. But while Tiara wants to complete her mission quickly and without troubles, Lena, besides delaying her mission, shows some complicity with Kagetsu. And all this matter turns more complex because Tiara, Lena and Kagetsu were once good friends, taking Tiara into account that there must be a good reason for their actions, thinking how she must act, according to her duty, her love, or what is fair. Besides, Tiara gets in contact with Kagetsu's sister, Sara, within her dreams, discovering that she is trapped by the throne of George, after doing her job as its guardian. This short OVA series shows good quality in every aspect, making good character development within a well-made story with a strong audiovisual design, displaying a lot of creativity that can be seen in the different environments, the characters' interactions, their diverse magic, and the attractive character designs, something distinctive by Atsuko Ishida, famous by her work in Magic Knight Rayo. This series despite showing both males and females with magic powers, the girls are the main ones when besides having their own magic that they use with invocations, they have their magic companions or servants that support them in their missions. And many things in this series are so original that they appear in later series like Lyrical Nanoha and Zen October for example. <laughs> 